You want guns? Easy! Made out of small ship blocks? Easy! With a couple mods? Uh, that's what we're here to do, boy. So get to the So get out your pen and papers, boys, and take note. Because we are about to enter a reality that you've never seen before. If this isn't the coolest fucking thing you've ever seen, you're lying. I have completed, or at least one rendition of an octuple barbette turbo laser. And holy fuck, guys and girl. This is amazing. I think I've outdone myself. I think this looks great. The one thing I would like to change about it is maybe, I know this sounds crazy, make it a little bigger. I do like the size of it, but I mean, obviously the real octuple barbet turbo laser could probably fit its own like med bay and and lounge area. Realistically, you'd build it out of large ship blocks, but because we downsized our Star Destroyer a lot, I think this is going to be a perfect size for our Star Destroyer. So it's hooked up by one rotor on the bottom and it's fully hooked up all throughout. So like if you have cargo storage on your large ship and you paste this onto your large ship, it can feed into the side guns and it can just pull and withdraw ammo. Uh, these connectors are only here because the octuple barbet turbo laser has four 
cannons and I used a conveyor block uh, right here and the only way to get another little port so this was all hooked up it was to put uh, one of these here I mm, I could change it actually I just thought, I just thought of a way uh, to change it and I might and I might change it just so I don't have to have this yellow rim around and you can see that it's a little makes it a little ugly but it also kind of makes it look as if there would have been a tube there to connect to each side to help it rotate as you can see as well we have a camera sneaking its way right in the middle and I thought that would be a perfect viewing port it looks very menacing where it's just flat it's got that little tiny uh, visual point but obviously when you control the gun um, it's not gonna help you when you elevate your cannons up and down so I also added a cannon on uh, one of the main gun arms uh, just to help you aim to know exactly where you're shooting we also have some batteries on there which we don't actually need but it was just helpful to uh, connect everything up keep everything locked in place and if you notice we have a timer block and a programmable block so I've actually put in the M-A-R-T turret script. So it's the mouse aim rotor turret script uh, from the workshop. Check it out. It's really awesome. Very easy and simple to use once you get the hang of it. So you just hop up in your seat. And now I can control this turret just by moving my mouse. We can look up, look down, and it moves super smooth. Like it literally moves exactly like as if you were controlling a regular turret. I think it looks great. It looks exactly like a turbo or an octuple barbette turbo laser. Like it's got the four guns. Oh, that looks sick. And then in the shadow, you can see it all four on each side. Oh, that looks awesome. I'm really proud of it. It, it looks great. I think, uh, I think I did a good job on it. Now I cut at the end because I was trying to figure out whether to have an AI turret script or a manual a mouse aim turret script. I tried and it, and it worked. That's why I have this little auto, uh, this little turret down here, uh, the AI turret script. But the problem with it was it only lifted the one side of the turret because it only works that script only works with one rotor so instead of seeing both of these turrets move up and down it would only move the one side and the other side wouldn't even register as a turret so it only shoot four of the gunshots so to fix that i'd probably have to make the, the rotor turret uh on just one side and then connect it and make it one huge tube and fit all the guns on which I don't really want to do that. I think it works perfectly this way because everything is so easy and simple to hook up. It's basically just a T, as you can see. Um, goes from the bottom up to the center part of the turret and then out to the sides of the guns. And I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, Chalkers, just shoot the goddamn gun. I want to see it in action. And, oh, I'll show you. Look at that! Oh my god, it just cuts through it! God! <laughs> oh, you think you can run away? Nope! Oh, that's awesome! We'll just come over here and check out the damage. So it took like seven or eight shots. I wasn't really counting. But look at that. It took out everything. Every shot just went straight through right to the bottom. Again, mind you, this isn't a very strong ship. So uh, take its power with a grain of salt. But yeah, totally destroyed the turret. Shot it right off. And all of these shots shot straight through right down to the blast door blocks. Even got rid of one. It almost cut off the bottom like... Uh, bay area. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. I love this ship. I'll just get rid of those blocks But uh, yeah, I think that's all we're gonna do for today. So in the next episode of the Star Destroyer We're going to add These guns to the Star Destroyer now in between I may refine this turret design uh, I may make it a little more smoother and if it becomes too much to just make it one uh, like where you have to jump into a cockpit to control each turret. I may make them all AI turrets, change the design a little bit. So for next episode of the Star Destroyer, 
it's going to be more of like i said previously doing components uh figuring out where all the engines are going to go uh where everything's going to be hooked up and that will give us a uh, a better idea of where the gun mounts are going to go like i said before because of the class of ship and how i class ships it's going to have 30 gun mounts oh that's 30 of these bad boys more like 20 and then 10 point defense and it may make the point defense in the same way have some modded guns on rotors just kind of set up everywhere i love the idea of using uh rotors to build your own turrets i wish space engineers had their own like um ai targeting system that you could add to ships without using scripts like more of just a block place it on the uh your small ship on rotors and then rename the rotors or something and then it automatically scripts it it would just make it a little more user friendly not saying scripting's hard uh definitely check it out try it out it's really fun and really awesome but yeah i'm absolutely happy with the design and i hope you are too but that's it for this video thank you all so much for viewing yes chalk army ships are coming out don't you worry we'll design some more minecraft more call of duty uh i will probably play my space engineer survival series soon i've actually done quite a bit and mr pickles helped me out uh, with making some hangar bays so i want to show you guys that thank you all so much for watching and i really hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please consider leaving a like subscribe if you haven't yet leave a comment down below join the talk army <laughs> become one of us <laughs> and as always, stay safe, stay lovely, stay beautiful, stay chonk. Chonkers, your lord, out. <laughs>